Now here's how you can copy and paste within a notion on the iPhone. Okay, so I need to explain this to you properly. If you, for example, just check out a random page, you know, you're going to type in some words and whatever, right? And if you want to copy and paste whatever, you have more options actually, right? So what you can do is use it on the text level. Essentially, you use your cursor, you just select it, and then you click on copy and you can paste it somewhere else. This is pretty simple and this is how we do it on basically any other app. However, there is the ability to use or have access to all of the blocks. So when I click on return right here or like that, I mean, essentially, I just want to get rid of the keyboard. And right now I have these like elements right here, which essentially uh, can be moved around, right? So this is basically how it works. And based on that, you can organize your text so it, it is much easier to just grab, uh, sorry about that, to just grab them and move that over to a different place, right? So this is like, you know, using only the text. However, as you can see, you can copy and paste it into a different like places, right? Uh, obviously, you can just um, hold down on this. Uh, you can, we're going to choose to the uh, manual sort, right? And right now I can reorganize stuff and I can click on this and I can also just copy the link, you know, so I can duplicate this view or whatever. So plenty of options here on, uh, what I'm trying to say is that you have it on uh, the text level and also on the elements level. So you can copy individual text, like, you know, the words and sentences, but you might as well just copy individual pages or blocks even and move them around. So you can see, I have this like here, I can move it over into a different place. So yeah, on uh, the iPhone, it's not as intuitive on the computer. You can just choose very like different blocks and stuff and you can just copy and paste them somewhere else. But on the iPhone, it just comes down to using this for the text field and actual pages, which can be duplicated. Hopefully I didn't confuse you too much. I'm just, you know, I've been using Notion for quite a long time. So I'm just showing you on the go. I don't really have a script for this. So let me know what you think about it down below in the comments. But for now, that's going to be about it. Hit the thumbs up if you like the video, subscribe for more, and I'll see you in the next tutorial.